All right, so this is how we get our water. Some of the time. Because it's treated with iodine. But who wants to drink iodine? Yuck. So, we use our little filter. And we can do this this way even with water from the rivers. We've always been right along a river on both trails. So you can always get water. Put the little filter thingy on. Empty bottle helps. And then we just fill up our water bottles. And it, what does it do to the water, honey? It filters out what? Uh, filters it down to a tenth of a micron, which removes taste, all minerals, pretty much everything, including viruses, since that's the buzzword of 2020. Pretty much filters out everything. There's only a couple bacteria that it won't filter out, and it's nowhere near our area, so yeah. I don't think it's in our country. So we get plenty of water to drink anywhere we go here. We just always make sure when we hit a well that we can uh, fill up. We've actually used this to help other people along the way too um, who have run out of water or close to it and um, we've gotten water from the creek or a well and helped them out here. Um, the other thing I was going to say is I think this also kind of hit us yesterday though because the only negative to this is these are the only types, this is the only way we had to get water yesterday and um, it's not cold. So we didn't, you know, you're hot, you want a nice refreshing cold drink. And we weren't by any little towns to stop off and get anything. So uh, we got ice water this morning before we left the hotel. And uh, we're going to stop in Harper's Ferry. Hopefully it's not too difficult to get there. And we'll get some nice cold water as well. That just, it's kind of a little more refreshing. But wanna, this is here, it's good. I want to back up to one point you made. Yeah. The CNO is very primitive as far as bike stations. There are none as compared to the Great Allegheny Passage, which every seven to 10 miles you'll see a bike station. That's true. And like um, visitor centers and stuff at every little town that you came to had stuff for you, cold drinks and and bike stations and all. Yeah, you're on your own out here. CNO has free camping like behind me pretty much every five to six miles, but not all the pumps work. Most of them do. They are all treated with iodine, which supposedly makes them safe, but yeah. Anyway, much much more secluded out here. Yeah, it's Don't not let like it fool you that we're near a town right now. And it's not like you uh, make camp reservations or anything. You just get to where you're gonna stay and you stay. So uh, that's what we've been doing each night. All right, filling up on water and hitting the rail, hitting the not a rail trail, hitting the towpath again. <laughs>